Um, limited ingredient is a buzzword. It is a marketing thing that for veterinarians, and I'm just telling you as a veterinarian so you know where your veterinarian is coming from, the words limited ingredient on an over-the-counter diet mean absolutely nothing. Okay? Merrick, as you can see, makes a ton of foods. All those foods are processed in the same plant, probably on the same line. There is no legal requirement to, li to list your food, limited ingredient, and not process it with the other foods, okay? It's just a name. It is just a name. This food could be called optimum ingredient. This food could be called spicy ingredient. It could be called sexy ingredient. It could be called secret ingredient. It doesn't matter. It's just a name. It doesn't require them to do anything special to the diet, okay? And so as a veterinarian, if your pet has a medical condition that I have diagnosed like a food sensitivity or a food allergy, this diet, regardless of the name, is not appropriate. I am not going to consider this a treatment plan option for your pet because if your pet needs a medical treatment that is a diet, it needs a medical grade diet. What does that mean? It needs to be a prescription diet. You cannot, cannot feed an over-the-counter labeled limited ingredient diet to a dog or a cat with a food allergy as a treatment method. You can feed it, but you are not treating the allergy, okay? Because when you feed a prescription diet, it's either hydrolyzed so that it is changed to be hypoallergenic, physically, chemically changed to be hypoallergenic, that is a prescription because it has to be used a process that is regulated or it has to be a prescription limited ingredient diet. Not very many people use those anymore because hydrolyzed diets are far better for allergies um, efficacy wise than limited ingredients. So we don't really even use limited ingredients anymore in pets with food allergies. But those, even those would be prescription because the line would be completely clean, completely disinfected. There is no, um, there is legally requirements on there to make sure it is processed in a way that there's no cross-contamination. Cross we know for a fact, as, a, as veterinarians, for research and testing foods and dermatologists, over-the-counter diets, switching from one to one to one, just because one says beef or one says chicken or one says limited ingredient, it is not, gonna check, is not going to um, help your pet's food allergies. 